Welcome to the ITDVDs.com YouTube channel. This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. If you would like to see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Now let's begin the sample. Our migration steps for migrating from Exchange 2007 to Exchange 2010 are going to be to first upgrade our Exchange 2007 servers to Service Pack 2. Once we get that done, we're going to deploy our Exchange Server 2010 servers. And depending on how many servers we're going to have and what roles we're going to install on what servers, that affects basically what servers we're going to deploy first. The Exchange 2010 upgrade role order is first our client access server. We need to deploy that, get it configured and set up, then hub transport, then edge transport, then unified messaging, and then finally the mailbox server. So if you're deploying a physical server for each one of these roles, you're going to do it in this exact order. But let's say you're combining roles onto a single server. Like in our example, we're installing the client access server, hub transport server, and mailbox server role all on one server. Well, we can go ahead and install those roles. But really the key is when we actually configure and switch over to them. So first we're going to configure the client access role and hub transport role and edge transport role and then switch over to those and then the real key is when we actually decide to move our mailboxes from Exchange, 1000, Exchange 2007 to Exchange 2010. So after we deployed our Exchange 2010 roles then we're going to configure and switch to Exchange 2010 client access server then configure 2010 hub transport server if necessary if we need it to actually receive and send mail out to the internet. Next we're going to install, configure, and switch to a 2010 edge transport server. Then we're going to actually replicate all of our public folders if we have public folders. And then finally we're going to move mailboxes and public folders to Exchange 2010. And then we're going to remove our old Exchange 2007 servers. And there are definitely a lot of different details to each one of these steps, but this is a basic overview of our migration process, and we'll get into the details of each one of these steps and go over step-by-step step how to migrate and upgrade to Exchange 2010.